Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Front Yard Fantasy Hour presented by FanDuel. My name is Josh, and I'm here today, as always, with my very good friend, John Luke Garofalo. How you doing today, JL? Fantastic. I love when people use my full name. <laughs> uh, yes, that's why I did it. I knew, I knew you liked it. But uh, also, we have the pleasure of having our favorite Front Yard Friday person, Tim Wright, here today. How you Tim, doing? Tim. Oh, I'm doing exquisite. Uh, Atlanta won the won the Super Bowl Super Game. I'm so excited. <laughs> Super Bowl Super yeah. Game. They did in fact. I know we're talking about oh, football yeah. here, but uh, I oh, think you got absolutely. your wires mixed up a little bit. Ah, nope, <laughs> yeah, it's perfectly it's okay. wired. <laughs> and last but not least, we we have a very special guest tonight, Justin Henry. You can find him on Twitter at Justin Henry. Change the E and Henry to a three. You may know him from his TikTok at uh, Fantasy Gods. That's Fantasy Gods, <laughs> G-A-W-D-S. He's creating social content for FanDuel, and we had a ton of fun last time he was on the yes. show. Justin, how are you doing today? Man, I'm doing great. Appreciate you guys inviting me back, and uh, I'm only here for redemption. JL, That's man, it. you got a target on your head, bro. Come at me, uh -oh. bro. Let's uh -oh. see it. Let's see it. <laughs> Well, you got someone new to compete with this time. Tim's coming forward, too. Dude, Tim's curious. a wild card. Tim is an absolute wild card. You're never going to know. <laughs> You're never going to know. <laughs> Uh, but I do want to remind everyone, uh, before we get into our game, uh, we are here live streaming every Friday on the FanDuel channel at 6 o'clock Eastern time. We also, we do a Sunday recap every Sunday, do, uh, starting at 7 o'clock Eastern time. On Sundays, we're recapping every game from the, that's happened so far on Sunday from a fantasy perspective. And to remind you guys, we are live streaming every weekday at 3 o'clock Eastern time on the Front Yard Fantasy YouTube and Twitch channels. Just search Front Yard Fantasy. You'll find us on there. Find us on Twitter at Front Yard FYF. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Game you time. Feeling it? Feeling it? <laughs> week 9, baby. Week 9. It's, uh, week 9 has started. We had a pretty good game last night. Um, I, I mean, I say pretty good, good. Game. Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor it, really. It's entertaining. Uh, you know, there's good, there's a lot good of football. fantasy, he's, fantasy yeah, players. Pretty good players, relevant players. <laughs> you know, kind of ready for some curveballs. It's been a, a strange season with all like the injuries and just wild kind of things happening. So I know, Josh, you're going to throw some curveballs our way, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're about to get some, some <laughs> dirty questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You best be ready. You best be ready. I hope you did your studying. I know Tim was studying a little bit beforehand. I tried. Um, I'm bad at school, yeah. though. Yeah, I just want to get like right in there. I'm ready to play I'm some down. fantasy fortune. You know, I'm, I'm dressed like your past Ajax today um, because I am the host of Fantasy Fortune. Um, real fast. Let me just um, bring this up real fast. So like I mentioned, we are playing Fantasy Fortune today. This is much like the show Wheel of Fortune. You might have seen it. You might not. But like Wheel of Fortune, as you can see on the screen here, we are going to be solving puzzles. But instead of the big wheel, we got rid of that wheel. And we are asking fantasy or football-related questions to the contestants, okay? Um, you will be expected to answer the question quickly. If you get the question right, you get to guess a letter for the puzzle. You will get $500 for each consonant. And if you want to buy a vowel, just let me know. They cost $100 each. If you guess anything wrong, we move on to the next contestant. If it's your turn and you think you can solve the puzzle, say exactly what's up there. And you're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to bank that money. You that, that you Justin? So far say that round. exactly what's up there. <laughs> oh, man. The jabs are going to come all game. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Ain't hey, you no know Robert Jones in the NFL, Justin. <laughs> there was. There was in the 90s. Dallas there Cowboys. was. Yeah, we were, we he's, were not, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Uh, I do want to mention, if you get three questions in a row correctly, and you guess the letter correctly three times in a row, you will get the bank that money. It goes into your bank. You lock it in. You can't lose that money. However, you will have to be able to solve the puzzle then. If you can't solve it, we move on to the next contestant. But you get to bank that money, so it's a positive. Whoever collects the most money over the course of the game, wins it. And like I always mention, no one sent me their fax number yet, but I will fax you all your Bitcoin, all the money you win all in Bitcoin. Money. You just got to give me that fax number, you know? Easy. It. Super no easy. DM them. FYF Josh. The modern technology, <laughs> fax to Bitcoin. Fax Can't to wait for it. Yep. <laughs> It's like sticking an aux cord in a VHS. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys don't yeah, do that? That works. That's for that primo sound quality. Yeah, you got to get the sure. surround sound. Dolby exactly. IMAX. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you ready to get this started? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay, right yeah, after yeah, Maria saying, I'm in here. I'm ready. Maria. Uh, Maria Justin, yes. I'm so glad you're back. Yes, Trey Five, gang. I'm here. Trey Five. Trey Five. Yeah, Trey Five. Yeah, Trey Five. Trey Trey five. five. And Kev with the bird up. All right, Josh, I'm ready. Are you? 
Well, I don't care if you're ready. I only care if Justin's ready because he is going first. He ain't ready. He let's, ain't let's ready. Let's reorganize these faces it. a little bit just to put them in a better order, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, this the is the appropriate order. We're starting with Justin, going to JL, then Tim. Justin, are you ready for let's your first question? Let's do it. Okay. Hey, we're just going to get, gonna get right in there. Five. Justin, in a PPR league, over the course of the season so far, who has more fantasy points per game? Mm-hmm. What's more the, fantasy hey, what, points. What's the, what's the puzzle, Josh? Oh, well, you know, you, you don't need to know that yet. Don't worry he about says that. straight to it. Going yeah, he's just straight. I said I wanted to get right in there, man. I said I wanted to get right in there. But this uh, is an NFL well, also, player. Also, get out of the chat, contestants, uh, yeah. in case they get yeah. it. Yeah, they're going to get it before you guys. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. They usually do. Hey, rude. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like I said, this is an NFL player, first and last name. Simple as that. We're starting out easy. Justin, are you ready now? Let's do <laughs> it. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, cool. Okay, who has more fantasy points per game in a PPR league? Who has more fantasy points per game in a PPR league? Is it Leonard Fournette or is it Cordero Patterson? Oh, I know that's close. I'm going to go with CPAT, though. See, Pat Cordell is Patterson. The correct answer. Cordero Patterson has the <laughs> seventh most. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> we never be... thought we'd be saying that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, see, Pat. Oh, I did say, I did say, like, no, I'm not. Yeah, PTSD from the last Cordell time. Cordero Patterson actually has the seventh most points per game out of all running backs so far this year. Cordero Patterson, who would have guessed? Huh? Well done. Nice pull, Justin. Justin, what letter would you like? Uh, let's go with the safe one. I don't know. Football names are kind of weird sometimes. I know. I know. Go kind of safe and go with the R. Yeah, he's going to go kind of safe with an R, and it Ooh. was the safe option. There are nice. two R's in this player's okay. name. Hmm. Justin, so you have $1,000. You've built up over the round. You can buy a vowel, or we can move on to the next question. Let's move on to the next question. All right. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Justin? Over the course of the season so far, who has more receptions? Who has caught more passes so far this season? Is it Tyler Boyd or is it um, Cole Beasley? Ooh. Yeah. You know, I know that there's been a couple down games for both of those players. And the uh, it seems really obvious, and I'm still going to go with it anyway. Cole Beasley. Yes, he is. That is nice. the correct answer. Nice. Cole Beasley has the 12th most receptions out of all wide receivers so far. Beasles, measles. Who would have thought? <laughs> no, he's getting a lot <laughs> of catches. Who would have thought? Justin, what letter would you like? Mm. You already took the uh, the safe one with the R, right? The safe one, yeah. Go crazy here, Justin. Go Z. You think so? I think so. Good. I got you. Trust me. You can trust me. You're going to take an N as in Nancy, right? N as in Nancy, yes. There are two oh. ends as well. All right, oh, Jail, this is not looking ends. good for us. No, it is not. <laughs> hey, Justin doesn't have any money yet. Now, Justin, oh, I do want to remind you, you get if you answer the next question correctly and get the letter correct, you're going to have to guess at the puzzle. Okay, but you will bank that money. Do you want to buy any vowels? Hmm. Nope. Let's go to the next question. Man, I don't I have just any. want to get right into the next question. Just get into I, it, man. I, no I, vowels. I, I, Thought Listen, make up. it I, easier I'm a, for me. I'm about it. I'm about it, man. <laughs> you know, um, I'm trying to figure it out right now, and I'm kind of lost, to be honest. So I got to save up some money. That way, if I have to go all, balls to the wall with uh, vowels, I can do it next question. <laughs> That's fair. It's good strategy. <laughs> all right, Justin. Here we go. Who has more receptions so far this season? Who has caught more passes so far this season? Justin, is it Kyle Pitts or is it Mike Gesicki? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I know. Come on, man. I know. I'm, I told you about oh, the curveballs all day coming at you. Tough, and I know they're, they're, they they got to be close. They got to be real close. You might think so. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, – I'm going to go with Kaseki, man. Bravo. Nice. Oh, I thought that was a tricky okay. one, but Kaseki has the third most catches out of all tight ends so far this season. Kyle Pitts is down there at six. Man. Wow. Yes. Good pull. Good pull. So, Justin, what letter would you like? If oh, you get this letter goodness. correct, you do bank your money and you're going to have to guess at the puzzle. <laughs> I honestly don't even know where to start with this <laughs> one, man. Um... <laughs> wow. No this is so awesome. <laughs> uh, maybe a uh, – let's go with the T. You're going to take a T? Yeah. 
There's one T. Oh, oh. So look, you get to bank this money, and I'm gonna, look, there's a timer right here. I'm gonna give you five seconds to solve this puzzle if you're able to. I'm gonna buy a vowel with the A. You cannot. I am sorry. Oh, I can't. I, I do didn't. you know what it is? I do not know what it is at all. All right, we're moving on to JL. But look, Justin, Gosh, you did bank matter. that money. That money is locked in, so you good have a Lord. good lead here. <laughs> JL, we're coming to you. Do you what do you, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling confused. <laughs> I don't know where I am right now. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, uh, so you want a question? A, yeah, I'll take a question. All right, JL. In a PPR league, over the course of the entire season so far, who has more fantasy points per game? In a PPR league, who has more fantasy points per game? All right. Okay. Is it Chris Godwin or is it Tyler Lockett? Godwin. I'm C yes, you're oh. correct. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say there's, there's no way. way. There's no way. Yeah. You are absolutely Mom. correct. He is the ninth overall, uh, ninth highest points per game out of every wide receiver so far this season. What letter would you like, JL? Uh, Justin took all the good ones. Uh I'll take I'll take a an I'll take a, I'll take, uh -huh. an, I'll take an S. Um, an S? Yeah. There's one S. There's one. Oh, there it, <laughs> there it is. There it is. JL, would you uh, like to I buy, buy an L? Yeah. Yes. Can I buy an O? You can buy an O. There's one O. <laughs> can I would buy, you like to buy an, an E? You can buy an E. There are two E's. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'd no. like to solve. <laughs> Go ahead That's and solve, solve JL. Adrian Peterson. That is the oh. correct answer. That is going to put $1,000 into your bank. I'm sorry, Tim, you did not even get a shot round one. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. Hey, we're coming to you first in round two, so don't fret. Great. Don't fret. That's not good. Okay. Fret. I see you yeah. fretting down there, Tim. Don't fret. The, br so the brim is two different sides. It's got a smiley face on the top yeah. and a sad face on the bottom. <laughs> two face. That's so perfect. That's so perfect. Hey, J Justin, I want to ask you real fast. Adrian Peterson here, as we all know, uh, Derek Henry uh, looks like he's out for the majority of the remainder of the season. The Titans signed Adrian Peterson. From a fantasy perspective, who do you think has more fantasy value, Adrian Peterson or Jeremy McNichols? Well, and I think this is a, a kind of a loaded question because Jeremy McNichols early on is going to have more of a role. I think that it's going to take a while for Adrian Peterson to get involved. And I also think it depends on what format you choose. Like if you have a PPR, yeah. you're going to want to keep McNichols. But if it gets to a point where you have Adrian Peterson – a little bit further down the line, you know the Titans are not going to go away from the game script, uh, game script, which is running the football, power run, and I think that Adrian Peterson will have some value later on. So standard league, if you're looking like, should I keep him for the playoffs? Um, I'd be looking at Adrian Peterson. If you're looking for PPR leagues for the rest of the year or even short term, uh, I'd go Jeremy uh, McNichols. God, I love that breakdown. That, that That's pretty much exactly what I would say. Does anyone have anything different to say? <laughs> No, I th I do think that Adrian Peterson is. I mean, he's, he's uh, like he's guaranteed Hall of Famer, right? Like at this point. Oh yeah. Just oh yeah. Incredible yeah, yeah. career. Uh, and you know, I, I think that I think that he'll he'll get most of that ground game. Uh, maybe if not at first, uh, as we go forward, and we just haven't seen them really give Jeremy McNichols much much of the groundwork. Uh, right. So I com I completely agree with Justin on that. And fantasy Hall of Famer too, man. I remember when he came out as yeah. rookie year. I had a team, yeah. and and he went nuts the second half of that that season. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine if he like ever like caught passes? Oh <laughs> like gosh. how 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 dominant he would be for fantasy. I mean, I'm not saying he wasn't. And Albert, yes, I I was about to put that up there. Uh, whoever put it up there seven minutes ago. He, wow. <laughs> we put it up here, and he knew what it was like right away. Yeah, Greg right? was how Albert. How. <laughs> Like he and knew. Kevin goes, Adrian. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you ready for the next puzzle? I'm ready. Well, Tim, are I'm, you ready? Tim, I'm, I'm nervous. Go. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're coming to you first, Tim. You knew that out already. Out of the chat, contestants, reminder. Uh, yes, get out of the chat. And we have a puzzle of NFL teammates here. Hmm. These are two NFL teammates. First, there's a first name, a last name, followed by the end sign, the ampersand, followed by another first and last name. And they are on the same team. They're on the same team right now. So, Tim, you, you understand the puzzle, correct? Yep. Yep. I hate Perfect. it. Perfect. I would like to see it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, you ready for your first question? Yeah, do it. Who has more rushing yards so far this season? Who has more rushing yards so far this season? Is it 
Melvin Gordon or is it Aaron Jones? Oh god. Oh no. Um Let's give a shout out. Uh, we'll try Melvin Gordon. I know he had like one of those games where he had a long one. I'm I don't know. sorry. It is Aaron I'm... Jones, but they're oh. not that far away. They're less than 100 yards apart. And it just goes to show that I think Melvin Gordon is having a better fan uh, season than yeah. a lot of people even realize. Right. Just That's true. We're coming back around the corner, back around the turn. You ready? Let's do it. All right, Justin, who has more rushing touchdowns so far this season? Who has scored more rushing touchdowns so far this season? Is it Dalvin Cook or is it Josh Jacobs? Ugh, those are the options. Those are the two <laughs> options, you, rushing touchdowns you know, and Josh Jacobs and Dalvin Cook. I think Dalvin doesn't have very many on the season. And you would think, you know, even though he's been back, uh, I'm still going gonna, gonna to go with Josh Jacobs. You're going to go with Josh Jacobs, and it's the correct answer. Nice, Josh Jacobs yeah. has five nice. rushing touchdowns, and he's now, only played five games. Yeah. Dalvin Cook only has two. Now I'm remembering how good you are at the, at the trivia, Justin. Yeah, this happens yeah. last time. <laughs> he literally hasn't missed. Run the, yeah, run the board of the trivia. Man, oh, you know, I just the, the stat stuff, man, for some reason, I just I can remember it. I don't know how. Beautiful It's mind. always since I was a little kid. Oh, really? That's that's yeah. really dope. I'm jealous. I think it's 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 a it's a chicken and the egg. Thing. I think it's because you were a little kid and you were into the stats, they started to stick. You know what I'm saying? I like, think so. At least man. that's kind of how I think about it. You know? Yeah, uh, that's a good sometimes. point. And I've, I've been in some. <laughs> when you get in Madden and you get in fantasy and you have debates with your guys uh -huh. and they roast you if you're just a little bit wrong yeah. on the stats, you tend to remember things a yeah. little bit better. <laughs> Not getting me this time. <laughs> um, so, Justin, what letter would you like? Uh, let's go with an S. I am sorry. Oh, there is no wow. either of these None? players' oh, names. Man. Two names. No S's. Not a single I should have went with the Z. Should have went, went with the Z. I told you, Justin. <laughs> is there a – oh, there's Zay Jones. I was like, is there Zay. a person that has a Z in their name? I'm, I would, I'm, I'm sure like that would be a dead, dead giveaway. Wow. Man. Um, JL, we're coming back to you. How are you feeling? Hit me. Hit me. You ready? Good. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Come on. Who has more reception so far this season, DeAndre Swift or Najee Harris? Swift. Swift is the correct answer. He's number one. He has 10 more receptions than Najee Harris. And Najee Harris is number two, but Ooh, Swift has that, so many that more that tricky. I figured it. No, nah, well, they're 10 receptions away. It just shows how dominant Swift is, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What letter would you like, JL? Uh, should I take my own advice? Yes. Nah, Do it. Nah, go with nah. the Z. I'll go, go with the Z. I'll, I'll go with the R. I'll go with the R. R. There are four oh, R's, no. JL. There yeah. are four R's oh. in this puzzle. And I will get you your money soon enough. Would you like to buy a vowel, JL, or you want to just move on to the next question? Uh, I'll buy a vowel. Okay. Uh, may I buy an E? You can. There are three E's. You can buy uh, another vowel, JL, or we can uh, just go ahead and move I'll on. Buy, may I buy an, an A? You can buy an A. And there are two A's. Got it. Can I Justin buy up there. He's been practicing. Nah, Jail has it. Jail I has got it. one of them. I can't yeah. think of the other. <laughs> Do you want to move on to the next May I buy question? a U? You can buy a U. Oh, I am sorry about that. Um, oh, he gets a special the special round, huh? <laughs> yeah. Special wheel There's round. There's one U. <laughs> oh There's gosh. one U, JL. Buy an I. <laughs> can I buy an I? <laughs> you can buy Please, an I. I just need more time. <laughs> there are three eyes. <laughs> oh, come on. Who is that? What is that? Spell? Answer a question. Answer a question. <laughs> Gail, do you want to buy the last vowel? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one. I am blanking right now. I'll take a question. Shoot. All right. I hate oh, this. wow. <laughs> JL. I can't think of anything. <laughs> my mind is blank. JL, this is a true or false question for you, all right? Oh, my true God. True or false. The Ravens <laughs> are four and a half point. Uh, favorites to the Minnesota Vikings this weekend. True or false? <laughs> false. The answer is false. No! Yes! The Ravens are six point favorites. JL, oh, please give me it. a letter. Oh, I will take a T. Who's got it? Uh, yes, I got T it. was I the right it. one to buy. All right. May I solve, please? Yes, you have oh, it. <laughs> Taylor Heineke and Terry McLaurin. That is yes. absolutely correct. Oh. God, I, I, was for the layup. I was hoping. I was just <laughs> give me a like, please. My blood pressure so high. 
we, we did have Albert here in the chat say Trevor Lawrence and James Robinson, which was a fit, I believe. Oh, it, wow. Yeah. So good. great job, Albert. Oh, that was before wow. any letters were up. So Albert is is going for it in the chat there. Um, so, guys, want to ask you, you think Taylor Heineke is the starting quarterback for the football team the rest of the year? Anyone can ask answer. I think so. Myself. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it depends, man, because if, if Fitzpatrick comes back and I think Heineke, if he just gives them a reason, you know, and, and they're even – I know they're not in contention right now with Dallas playing really well, but if he gives them a reason to come back in, um, it wouldn't shock me. I think they're on a bye this week, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bye, bye this week, you're right. Um, and I was just – I just want to see if there's any news on Ryan Fitzpatrick. And as of nine days ago – so he's still on crutches weeks away from returning. Oh, the wow. Latest, the latest news that we have. Yeah. But that leaves it open, at least, that he could come back yeah. this season. You, you think the team would try to make a move like that at this point? I don't I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, unless the, unless they were, like really had something to play for and they were just desperate, I don't see why they would. Yeah. I mean, I think Taylor Heineke is a average NFL quarterback, which is saying something. I mean, it's it's not easy to find an average NFL quarterback. He can run a little bit. He He's fine. He makes mistakes. That's the biggest He makes problem, mistakes. He makes <laughs> Every mistakes. Every once in a while. But so does Fitzmagic. <laughs> That's um, true. But he's not Fitzmagic. Maybe more than anyone. Yeah, he's not Fitzmagic. <laughs> I love Fitzmagic. He's not that magic. <laughs> no. All right. You guys ready to go for the next puzzle? We're coming oh, to yeah. Tim first with this one. I hate this pattern that we've established. This is <laughs> not where I want to be. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a puzzle that has two players with the same first name. All right. So the first Wait. word you're going to see up oh. here is a first name. The second word is a last name followed by the end ampersand and then another last name. OK, the first, first name, last sense? name, last so name. So it might be like Mike Williams and Davis. Right. Is that OK? You know, so I think. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they both have the same first name. Does that make you sense? Got it, Tim. Because that could be tricky. Yeah. Same first. All right, Tim. Okay. Okay. Same first name, different last names. First name, last name, last name. First name, last name, last name. Then why are the yeah. last names the same length? Oh, that, that's that's, that's just a coincidence. Heck. That is just Whoa. a coincidence. You're just throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, same are you ready for your first name. question? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, this is one guy. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> tricky. <laughs> it's, it's like Juju Smith Smith Schuster, but I just put an ampersand. <laughs> but you just. Yeah. 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 Why not? Oh, okay. um, yeah. Tim. Yeah, another reason I've never used Juju Smith Schuster for any of these yeah. because yeah. like a little obvious, right? huh? it yeah. kind of gives it away. <laughs> Even like Jamar Chase, I'm like, ah, oh, I, like, I, like, I don't want to like the... spell his name wrong, but yeah. it's kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, and then there's like the DJ Moore factor where it's like yeah. D period J period. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I don't know. Anyway, Jimmy I digress. Tim, we are coming to you with your first question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who has more passing yards so far this season? Who has more passing yards so far this season? Is it Kirk Cousins or Derek Carr? Oh, God. Gross. Yeah, I know. I did it to you. I did you like that. Uh, um, God, the, if you described at, like just quarterbacks that I could forget in two years, it's probably both of these people. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you, you might be able to forget about them. Give me Derek Carr. Uh, Ah, <laughs> oh, Tim. Derek Carr's the correct answer. He's the hey, most passing hey. yards so far this season. Wow. Great job, Tim. What letter would you like? Practicing your tricky reveal, Josh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> practicing. I was We're very working. heartbroken there. Uh, I know. I could tell. <laughs> I love please, it. <laughs> please have an S. Uh, oh, wait. Maria already figured it out. Um, Mike Williams. Mike Davis. Gosh, you got it. Oh, it. <laughs> Mike Davis and Mike Davis. Well, what letter? I'm sorry. Uh, just give me an S, please. S. Thank Ooh, you. Reminder, contestants out of the chat, too. Oh, gosh. I, um, I hate it here. <laughs> it's like, why did I I'm this? sorry. The there is no S in this guy, this, these people's first name or either one of their last names. Wow. Um, so, Justin. Okay. That's that's heartbreaking, Tim. <laughs> man. It's, it's very heartbreaking. That's so crushing. Justin, you ready Tim, for your man. question? I'm ready. I'm ready. All oh, right, in a P or in a four point per passing touchdown league, four okay. point per passing touchdown league, who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Is it Daniel Jones or is it Kirk Cousins? Points per game. 
Daniel Jones or Kirk Cousins, and Kirk mm-hmm. has fallen off the last two weeks. Otherwise, it would have been a no-brainer. Would have been a no-brainer. Uh, Daniel Jones has been, there was a couple games where he didn't play well, but then there was a couple games where he we did. We need an answer, Justin. Daniel Jones. I am sorry. Oh, sorry. It ugly. is Kirk Cousins. It is Kirk Cousins who has 19.7 fantasy points per game to wow. Daniel Jones okay. 17.1. Ugh, way off. <laughs> Not way off, way, way off, way off. Uh, way off. Maybe this makes you feel better. Kirk Cousins was a, a 11th in this category, and Daniel Jones is 17th. I don't know way off, right. way off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we'll move on to JL for the next question. JL, what yep. is up? What is up, Josh? Hello. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling, bro. Um, you ready for your question? Yeah, let's go do it. Who has more rushing yards so far over the course of the entire season? Is it Josh Allen or Jalen Hurts? Jalen Hurts. Yeah, it is Jalen Hurts. All right, all right. Yeah, that was yeah, a layup. Okay. What, 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 I didn't yeah. know it was that much of a layup. Josh Allen's third in rushing in the NFL out of all quarterbacks, and Jalen Hurts is second. Is there a big difference between the two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 432 to 269. What was the first number? 432. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a huge difference. All right. I'll take, I'll take <laughs> And a... then who's number one? Uh, Lamar Jackson. Uh, what letter would you like to uh, <laughs> let me get a Let me get a P. I'm going to go crazy here. Let's go, let's go crazy with a little P? P. There's one P. Oh. There's one P. I mean, that's, that's not bad. Not you know? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll take another question. He, the man is going to take another question. All right. I'm going to throw you a little bit of a curveball here. All right. This oh, great. is a little bit of a curveball. Who has more interceptions <laughs> so far this season? Who has more interceptions so far this season? Is it Jared Goff or is it Joe Burrow? Hmm. Burrow. Burrow is correct. He's number two Ooh. in the league in interceptions. He was high, but he's got a high touchdown number two. Yeah, no, he's scoring a lot of fantasy points. What letter would you like, Jail? I'll uh, take a R. There are two R's, Jail. There are two R's. Uh, oh, I know it. Yep. Oh, really? yeah. Yep. Let's go. What? Yep. Yep. Well, I'm, Eat I'm, it. I'm surprised <laughs> myself. So. Tim, salute to you. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I, uh, Jail. Um, you better not mess up, Jail. You can buy a vowel. Uh, nope. Pressure's I'll, on now. <laughs> I'll buy a vowel. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. I'll take a. I'll take a knee. An E. There are two. Oh, ones. yeah. Yep. Yep. 100%. Woo-hoo. There we go, Justin. Let's go. 100%. <laughs> Would you like to buy another Val, Joe? Uh, yeah, I'll buy an, an, I'll buy, uh, an A. He's buying an A. There are three A's. This is so frustrating. Yep. <laughs> Would you like Tim's to buy another Val, Joe, or move on to another question? I'll, I'll take another question. The man is taking another question, and JL, who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Who has more fantasy points per game so far this season is it nick chubb or is it damian harris harris i'm sorry it's nick chubb. no nick chubb has what? more fantasy points per game tim, go get it harris. wrong tim now now hold on you can solve right away you'll get a thousand dollars to put in your bank or oh. we can go into a question yeah i'm gonna not get the question because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> i go ahead and solve it that, tim Michael Gallup and Michael Carter. Oh. Let's go. Yes, Michael Gallup. And I always Carter. call him Mike Gallup. So. <laughs> no one calls him Mike Gallup. Everybody calls <laughs> him Mike Gallup. Well, his friends call him Mike Gallup. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. His friends do they call, call him Mike Gallup. G. I Mikey forgot G. you guys yeah. were close. <laughs> Mikey Gideon. It is Michael Gallup and Carter. Yeah, so Michael Gallup, he's coming well off done, the IR Tim. soon. Do you, do you uh, like? And Carter, he had a somewhat disappointing game last night, didn't he, guys? Yeah. I think we all expected big things out of him. I traded him in one league, and I'm pretty happy I did so. <laughs> if I do so much, so myself, you know, it, it'll, it'll be fine going forward in a PPR. But it is what it is. You guys just want to move on to the next question, uh, next puzzle here. Yeah. Can I buy? Can I buy Tim, money first? Oh yeah, give Tim his money. No, I, want to make sure I, I was trying. I was trying to wait to give it to you as long as. Wow, I Maria. I guess I will. Oh, I this is only three yes. months ago. Gallop. Gallop. Michael no, Gallop. No, honestly, Maria, no, you killed it, Maria. Uh, well Maria done, and Albert Maria. working together here. Let's there go. It is. Hey, good job, guys. Oh, Let's go. Is. Great job. He's and we have a close Carter. game here. JL has a slight lead, a $500 lead over Justin, but this is honestly 100% anyone's game going forward. <laughs> because I'm playing. 
Yeah, Tim, you got money. I, I, that's yeah, I know. That's, that's all I want. There's been plenty of weeks game. where I've seen JL well. and Simon both not bank anything. You know, no, like, zero. <laughs> Avoided the zero. Big old zero. All right. So, Justin, we're coming to you first with this next puzzle. All right. Yeah, yeah no, Michael Gallup. I, I feel like with Michael Gallup, he's one of those players that he'll be a a, a flex. You know, every other week or every two weeks, he's not somebody you really want. To, even PPR. I think he's more of a trade asset. Like you can sell him as height as opposed to somebody you want reliably in your lineup, Man. especially since Dallas has kind of uh, scaled back a little bit on the passing game. Yeah, they Absolutely. came out strong with that 58 yeah. uh, passing attempt game. Mm-hmm. Church us all. Well, got us all did, super right? excited for to. like – Well, I will say that the, the, uh, uh, I think uh, two weeks ago uh, they were in a uh, – Dak Prescott didn't play last week. And then they were on the bye of the week before that. But the week before that, I believe Dak Prescott finally was throwing a ton. Right. So I think it's going to really come down to game script with them. Um, if they're down in games, they're going to throw a ton. If they're winning, they're going to run the clock out. So let me ask you guys this. <sighs> can Gallup, <laughs> Gallup coming back, does that? how does that affect the other uh, skill position players on that team? It really only makes me nervous for Dalton Schultz. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really see a whole, I don't really see anything changing. I think the, the alphas are going to get their, their way. Cooper and, and CD, no, no hesitation on any of those guys. I think it, everything remains the same. He just comes in as that third piece now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you, you do agree though. Uh, Gallup over does eat into Schultz a little bit then, because I would say Schultz is the third piece right now. Right. Maybe yardage, but I think that he's still going to be one of Dax. He's still going to be part of that rotation. I think. Target guy. Maybe so still takes a top a slide 12 a tight end kind of deal. I would still put him up there. All right. I think that's fair. I think that's fair, honestly. Maria saying, my money is on Justin. He's going to come back from last time. Man, season. thank you, Maria. You know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know, I got to get my opportunity and capitalize on it this time. I can't let JL take it from me. <laughs> I'm down here waiting. Ready? <laughs> Pass me to rock, Justin. And don't forget Tim, about Tim. Tim is sleeping down there. Yeah, yeah Tim is sleeping <laughs> down there. No, it's, it's you best not. I want now. Tim to I, win this one. I, I'm one I for two on win. questions. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm <laughs> over over one on letters. So <laughs> and you're one for O on solving puzzles. Yeah, it's a weird oh, stat yeah. line. But one you're a hundred out of a hundred on, I'm a on tight hands end. in this pin. I'm a tight end in That's the end true. zone. <laughs> tight, tight, you're, you're the CJ Uzama of this game. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually perfect. That's actually perfect. All right. I like this next puzzle. Um, it's a fun one, Justin. We're gonna be coming to you first. And I right, will give you a quick explanation of what's Ooh. going on here. Uh, this is kind of like a crossword puzzle, all right? These are four last names. It's four last names, kind of crossword puzzle style, and they're all on the same team. And they're four? all fantasy re- relevant. Uh, three, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I was going to say. Yeah. Where's the, where's Thank the fourth? You. Three <laughs> last names. It's kind yeah. of a crossword style here, but they're all on the same team, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, Justin. So you ready for your first question? 100%. Let's go. Who has more rushing yards so far this season? Who has more rushing yards so far this season? Is the answer James Robinson or is it Austin Eckler? Say that one more time. James Robinson or Austin Eckler more rushing yards this season? Uh, Oh, man, I don't feel good about this answer, but I'm going to go with Eckler. I am sorry. The answer is James Robinson. Oh, James Robinson man. is currently eighth in the league in terms of rushing yards, while Eckler is down there at 17th, actually. Um, wow. But he is really making a name for himself, scoring touchdowns and getting those receptions. So, you know, man. what do we look for out of a running back in fantasy? Those goal line attempts and those receptions. And Eckler does all that. And he gets the carries, right? <laughs> he does. And James Robinson's having a year, a better year than people thought that he was going to have coming into the oh, season yeah. as well. Yeah. Spe- well, I think once Travis Etienne got injured, I mean, even after Travis got Etienne got injured, I still think James uh, people were a little low on James Robinson, right? I was, I yeah, I was. Yep. I, I, I definitely changed my mind. He's still so underrated. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next question, uh, Jail? We're coming to you. Yes, sir. Are you ready for the next question? Hit me. All right, Jail. Who has a higher yards per carry so far this season? Who has a higher yards per carry so far this season? Is it Jonathan Taylor or Leonard Fournette? Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Taylor's the right answer. Taylor's yeah. freaking killing it in terms yeah. of breaking off, average. Breaking off all those big runs. <laughs> Yeah, t- Taylor. Taylor's killing it. Taylor's yeah. killing it. He's five point nine yards per carry, which is Oof. awesome. Ish. By the way, Man. can we take away Especially the two seventy and eighty and ninety yard carries, whatever those were? Can we take those <laughs> away? 
crazy. I just thought I was going to fool him a little bit with like, oh, I mean, it's Taylor and Fournette. I what thought you might be tricking me. <laughs> exactly. Gail, what letter would you like? Um, You know what? I'll take a... I'll take a an M. M is in mother. M is in mother. I always have trouble hearing the. Ah. Oh, sorry, that wasn't there. I always have trouble hearing the M and N difference. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, good news for you. We're coming to you. Cool. How are you cool, feeling cool, down cool, there? Cool. Uh, sweaty. Uh, panics. <laughs> a little sweaty. Yeah, but ready a to go. Sweaty, though, right? All at the same time. It was just like a little Sweat, bit like a sweaty, but ready to go. Yeah. Jittery. All right, Tim. I know you're a Dolphins fan, right? Oh, good. Yep. Uh, may I ask you a true or false <laughs> question here? True or false? The Dolphins are five and a half point favorites, according to the FanDuel Sportsbook currently, to the Houston Texans this week. Yeah, it's hard for me to picture us being favorites against anybody at this point. Uh, but <laughs> I'll go uh, true. Yeah. The answer is true, Tim. Ooh. They are five and a half point favorites to the Houston Texans this week, according well to the done. FanDuel Sportsbook. Great job, Tim. What letter would you like? Give me an L. Oh, I almost went L. Out. Oh, oh L. L. No glad, to, glad to know L. I would have been wrong either way. <laughs> Justin, okay. we're right back around the horn. We are coming to back you. To are me. you ready for your question? Over two on letters, Tim. Let's do it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> all right. And and we're gonna go back to the FanDuel Sportsbook <laughs> for this one, Justin. All right. We are going to the FanDuel Sportsbook. Okay. True or false? The Buffalo Bills are 14 and a half point favorites to the Jacksonville Jaguars this week. Sounds about right. Jeez. I'll go true. Uh, and it is true. Nice. It is true. They are yeah. 14 and a half point favorites to the Jaguars this weekend. And I believe the Jaguars are at home. What? <laughs> wow. Um, anyway, uh, Justin, what letter would you like? <laughs> Man, who knows with this one? I'm gonna go with <laughs> I'm gonna go with the letter that's been killing us every time, S. S. That has been brutal. There's, hey, there's oh, one S. Wow. Okay. Oh, that, that solves the whole thing for me. Yeah, I do. I, now I know. It, it definitely helps this crossword <laughs> puzzle style uh, puzzle we got here. Uh, oh, my. It well, just, I will you not can be buy solving. It now. <laughs> you can I will buy not it now. be solving. You know what? I want to buy an A. He's going to buy an A. The man's buying an A. There's one A, oh and that gosh. actually might help you a little bit because it does assist you with two different names. All right. And remember, these are all last names, three different last names. All right. All right. So Justin, are you ready for your next question? I'm ready for or the next you can, question. Actually, you can buy another vowel if you would like as well. Mm, no, I'm not going to buy another vowel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue. All right, Justin. Who has more receptions so far over the course of the season? Who has more receptions over the course of the season so far? Is it T. Higgins or is it Mike Williams? Hmm. Mm. Well, seeing as T. Higgins has been out for a little bit, I'm going to go with Mike Williams and not feel good about it. And you broke that down very well. Mike Williams <laughs> is the correct answer. What letter would you like, Justin? This is honestly, man, this is extremely hard right now with the uh, the setup that this is. I'm going to go mm -hmm. with N as in Nancy. N as in Nancy. And there's one N. Oh, my God. 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 We're creeping, God. We're creeping on this puzzle. <laughs> You're yeah. you're chugging along. So I want to oh, I want to remind you again. You can buy a vowel now if you get Since an. This is the last correct. time. Yes, right, this is the last time to buy vowels. I'm buying yes. e. He's going to buy an e. There are two e's, and that actually might help you a little bit. Yeah. Oh gosh. So Justin, you can still buy another vowel, or we are going to move on to the next question. Hmm. Just give you a one second to think. Jordan says, oh, hey, yeah. guys. Oh, Jordan. hey. How are you feeling? Justin? Val? Let's go to the next right. question. I don't have oh, it. Oh, the man wants another question. All right. So, Justin. This is tough. Who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Is the answer Terry McLaurin or Deontay Johnson? One more time on the question. In a PPR league, who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Is it Terry McLaurin or Deontay Johnson? Points per game, man. Um, I want to say I want to say McLaurin really badly, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me. Deontay Johnson, let's go there. You're going with Deontay Johnson. Deontay, Deontay Johnson. Johnson is the correct answer. Wow, He's the ninth most nice. points per game out of all wide receivers so far this Dang. season. McLaurin's down there at twentieth. Ooh, 20. Huh. 
What letter would you like, Justin? And keep in mind, um, you're going to have to solve it if you get this correct. All right, let's go with R. He's going with an R. All right, oh. Justin. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Now, Justin, you say you got it. Say the last names that are up there, all right? Just, wow. just right. the last names. Carr, Edwards, Renfro. Well done. Well done. That really unlocked correct, it. Justin, that is absolutely <sighs> correct. I that got R Edwards. really changed things. Yeah. All I could Carr, think of was Edwards Gus Edwards. And Renfro. That's all I could think of. And <laughs> I, I saw like, Carr <laughs> and Edwards. I could not think of Renfro until the R popped up. When the wow. R popped up, that was the icing on the cake. Well done, Justin. This so, guys, like I included the, uh, these options in this puzzle for a reason. Um, unfortunately, we we might you may have heard of the Henry Ruggs news. He is not going to be with the Raiders or in the NFL for the foreseeable future. Um, but... From a fantasy perspective, I do think it does raise the value for both Brian Edwards and Hunter Renfro. Um, now, if you were to choose one of these guys for the rest of the season in a PPR league, Justin, who would you rather have? I think you're looking for upside. Um, obviously, Renfro might be rostered and Edwards. Some people are probably giving up on him. I would rather have Brian Edwards because I feel like Hunter Renfro already has his role established, uh, whereas Edwards is probably looking at an increased target share. So for me, um, I would probably be looking Edwards, and especially in the red zone, if things tend to happen the way that uh, things happen, uh, I think Edwards has a good shot at a little bit more of an increase in the red zone, which would up his fantasy value, give him a little bit of flex value. I love we just aren't agreeing today, Justin. I would have just summed it up exactly the same you know, way, I too. Think, yeah, it's perfect right now. Do, I think you, you got the agree? candle burning, the, the incense, <laughs> yeah, yes, the vibes are there, bro. Night, you know, yeah, we're vibing. <laughs> Tim, do you agree with this uh, or disagree? Yeah. Would you rather Hunter or Hunter Renfro or Brian Edwards? I, I mean, Renfro is going to be the safe pick. Um, yeah, I, I like the Edwards play, um, but I, you know, I, I could see the majority of that going straight back to Darren Waller. I mean, I, I don't, I don't it's think possible. that's totally out of the realm of possibility. Waller is an absolute beast, and Edwards is really good too. But um, yeah, if you're playing upside, Edwards, I think you're absolutely right. You should get those targets, those those awesome awesome gains so uh yeah uh, if you wanted to play upside edwards if you want to play safety renfro that's Good that's point. about how i play it so guys we have a question in the chat here i want to get to real fast um the chosen rose coming in saying pick two i'm assuming it's for this week uh emmanuel sanders tim patrick jerry judy van jefferson or christian kirk I know my, well, I'll just throw it out. I, I would say Emmanuel Sanders and Jerry Judy. Uh, we'll just go in order here. Justin, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I would probably go with Jerry Judy. I think he's the lockout of all of them. And then I would probably go upside with uh, with Van Jefferson just because it seems mm -hmm. like they have a connection there in uh, in L.A. J.L., what do you think? Yeah, I agree with both of you. Which is tough. Uh, <laughs> definitely Jerry well, is it Judy. Van Jefferson or Emmanuel Sanders, I guess? I think it's, I think it's Emmanuel Sanders and, and Jerry Judy. But I... God, it just feels more fun to throw Jan Van Jefferson in. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Tim, are you going Van Jefferson here? <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to go Van Jefferson um, as one of my ones. I, I just think that's a fun pick. Um, mm -hmm. If if I'm if I'm facing an absolute wall of a game, I'm going to throw Van Jefferson in. And Christian Kirk, I, I know DeAndre Hopkins likes to play through injuries, but you know. It, the Cardinals offense is going to have to hum either way. And that might go through Christian Kirk this week if he's a little bit hampered. So that's a great point. Give me those two. Mm -hmm. I, I will say, though, I think DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray are kind of doubtful to play. Actually, Jordan just came in the chat and said Kyler Murray's doubtful to play. That affects Christian Kirk in its own right a little bit, too, right? Maybe. Yeah, but, yeah, but he might be the number one wide receiver for that team without, <laughs> uh, <laughs> without both A.J. Green and DeAndre Hopkins because A.J. Green's on the COVID list. Yeah, man. Very, All uh, right, guys. Look who we got in here. Simon saying oh, hi. Simon, what's up, well, Simon? Well, well, well. And Simon goes, Man, Jefferson. Just... He heard us talking about Van <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> he felt it. <laughs> Came in. Uh, and then let's see. And who Maria, well, Maria's coming here. If you're going to play anyone, it's Robert oh, Jones. Obviously. Yeah. Clearly, oh, Robert, Robert Jones. Uh, Robert Jones, that. man. The combo player. <laughs> hey, look who's talking. I mean, Justin, though. Yeah, Justin has I, a strong lead right now, guys. Just say, you have to get your digs in now before he actually wins. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Jones, man, I need a, I need a picture of Robert Jones or something. I know, here. right? <laughs> we we, we got to send you one. Friday Yard <laughs> Fantasy gift. Hang it on your wall. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Higby or Fryer Muth? Uh, Higby is definitely the safer option. Um, 
Higby's the right Higby. answer here, but yeah, it's Higby. There's something in my gut that tells me Friar Muth's uh, the answer. I feel like Higby's so hit and miss, man, and, and Friar Muth just is kind of open a few targets there. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. know. It's closer than it, it seems to me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Higby's the right answer, Chosen Rose. But if I was in your situation, I would have some spicy. fun and play Friar Muth. I, I just have a gut feeling. I like to ride with my gut feeling. It's about in fantasy. Fun. It's about That's why fun. I like having my own fantasy teams. I could just be like, I know this is not right. It's not logically correct, but, <laughs> but I, I, I can feel it. something here. <laughs> I, I'm one in seven in this league. Let's let's shoot for 200. <laughs> I'll just keep starting Sammy Watkins every week. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> week one, Sammy's coming out. Yeah, one day, right. one day it'll work. Let's get into the next puzzle, <laughs> fellas. Um, this is a new category. This is a, new, a category we have. Ooh. Yes. Get out of the chat. This is a category we have not done before yet in Fantasy Fortune. I just came up with it this Cat afternoon. Names. It's four rookies. Oh. That's all it is. It's Holy just four God. rookies. It's their last names. That's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> and we're Maybe going I'm to get it. I like first. the way that you're There's reiterating so that. many letters for me to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, JL, uh, J- Justin did uh, correctly get the puzzle last round. So, we're coming to you first, JL. How are you feeling? I'm feeling overwhelmed with the number of letters here. Well, <sighs> take a breath. That's, all right. All right. It's a good chance, let's, a good chance to put some points on the board, though. I know two of them. That's true. JL, we're going to the FanDuel Sportsbook for your question, your first question. Okay. According to the FanDuel Sportsbook, when you go into their, you know, prop bets, prop bets and their conference division winners, um, what team is favorited to win the NFC championship? Is it the Rams or the Buccaneers? The betting <laughs> favorite to win Bucks. Uh, the, win, the Bucks is correct. Woo! They are the betting favorite to win the NFC championship. Good job, JL. What letter would you like? Take an R. There are three R's in this puzzle, JL. That's going to put $500 into yeah. your round bank. You want to buy a uh, JL? No. I'll take, a, <laughs> I'll take a question. All right. So in a four-point per passing touchdown league, who has more fantasy points per game over the course of the season? All right. In a four-point per passing touchdown league, who has more fantasy points per game over the course of the season? Is it Matthew Stafford? Or is it Kyler Murray? Stafford. Stafford is the correct answer. He's number three on the list of fantasy points per game. Great job, JL. What letter would you like? I will take. Uh, I'll take a. I'll take a. A D. A D. I'll take the D. There are two no, D's. There he is. There is. Jail. I knew that. JL, keep in mind, this, you've answered two in a row. Correct. If you answer the next one correct and guess the letter, you you will have to guess at the puzzle, and we'll move. You'll bank your money though. Jail. What would uh, you like to do here? I'll I'll take uh, another question. You're good. He's just gonna take another oh, wow. question. He is not messing around today, guys. All right. In a PPR league, JL, over the course of the season, who has more fantasy points? Who has more fantasy points in a PPR league so far this season? Is the answer Noah Fant or is the answer CJ Uzama? <laughs> Uzama. I'm sorry, it is Noah Fan. No! Is the correct answer. Oh, I got that too. Noah Fan is the correct answer. He's just been a little bit more I've consistent. CJ has always had those blow up games. And I no. bet you if we went to a standard league, let me do it for you real fast. I want to fact check this for you. In a standard league, CJ Uzama, it does switch. It switches in a standard oh, league. From a PPR league. It what does. about half point? Half point. I honestly, <laughs> like I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check for you. I'm gonna check for you. Dead and even. Ha- oh, they're they have like the same amount. They're within a point of each other. They're within a point of each wow. other. In wow. Half point. It just goes to show you how much PPR and standard leads can be different. That's crazy. Right? Um, I'm sorry, JL. We are moving on to Tim. Tim. Timmy. Oh, I got my it. My friend. You Shoot. got it. All I right. think I, first, I, think I, got I have it. the first three, but I can't get the fourth one. Oh. Right, give me a question. Oh. Gosh. All right, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on. Just... Over the course of the season so far, who has more receptions? Who has more receptions so far this season? Is it Amari Cooper or is it Adam Thielen? Oh, Lord. Uh, Thielen. Thielen is correct, Tim. Cool. Thielen is correct. What letter would you like? L. 
Taking the L. Mm -hmm. There are four L's. There are four Ooh, that's L's. That's not who dude. I thought the second one was. Okay. Okay. There let me buy. L's. Yeah. Let me buy an E. He's buying an E. The man's buying an E. There are one, oh, okay. two, three, Jeez. four, five, six E's. Six E's. It's going to cost you $600 for buying them. Would you like to buy an Arval, Tim? Or sure would you like I... to move on to the next question? Or you um, can solve. You can solve. I'm just blanking on the last one. Um, uh, question. Any question? All right. We are going to a question. Tim. Who has more rushing yards so far this season? Who has more rushing yards so far this season? Is it Damian Harris or Antonio Gibson? Damian Harris. Damian Harris is doesn't... correct, Tim. Yep. Damian Harris cool. is number six in the league. What letter would you like, Tim? N. And N is a Nancy, right? Yes, sir. There's one N. <laughs> okay. Dang it. You, you can buy another uh, vowel, Tim. Remember, this is your last mean? chance to buy vowels because if you get this next letter, a question and letter correct, you will lock it in and guess at the puzzle. Yeah, give me give me an A. Let me buy an A. There are two A's. You can still buy Gosh. another vowel, Tim. Okay. <laughs> it took me so long can to get that Can I buy one? an I? <laughs> you can buy an I. There are two I's, Tim. Why am I just blanking on that? Oh, oh and now there, there are oh, still vowels if you would like to buy. God, uh, let's go Lawrence Mitchell Waddle Frymouth. Oh man. There it is. There it is. I was like, oh, there's, there's, there's I couldn't no think name of Mitchell for e some reason. <laughs> there's not a single name Mitchell, like that. I knew Mitchell was going to be well, the toughest I, one to solve. Mitchell was hard. It. Mitchell, yeah, I got. I, yeah, that one was tough. My I thought, problem I is because I. Fryermuth, I just spelled it wrong in my head. I was missing an E, so I was like, it's not Fryermuth. I got that so early, right? but yeah. Man. Yeah, that Mitchell was yeah. hard. Mitchell was tough. Yeah. yeah. By the way, it's a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. Nice quarterback. I, I didn't back, even think of that. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you, but it is that. <laughs> Guys, look how close this game is. Look how close yeah. it is. It's not that, I love how you're. I love how you're making Tim and I feel better, but it's not that close. Tim, I feel great. I mean, yeah, like uh, you, you got like two thousand five hundred dollars in one round. So this game, JL, it's uh, possible, and that that would set you ahead of Justin. It's and possible. just a little bit more than that, two thousand seven hundred dollars ties it up for Tim with Justin. So hey. It's anyone's game. It's anyone's it is game. anyone's game. Sure. I gotta end it. I gotta end it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, quick, I said, put a bunch of questions in the chat. You probably only have one time for one more puzzle. So, you guys ready for this? Uh, yeah. And Marissa, I've never heard anyone call Tim Timmy before. <laughs> it got me. Timmy. 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 I've yeah. never called him Timmy before. Um, but I went for it. Oh, Good yeah. job, Jordan. Yeah. Jordan did get that uh before you guys. <laughs> All right, last puzzle. Let's do it. It's a season highlight. It's a season highlight. Oh, no. Oh, easy. <laughs> you, got it. you already got it right, too? <laughs> yeah. It's psychological warfare. Right so there. this is something that's happened over the course of the season that, you know, has stood out in my mind. It could be something like, uh, I don't know, Tom Brady is the GOAT. Or Tom Brady is freaking killing it this season. You know, or, you know, something along those lines, right? None of that fits. Nope. <laughs> I'm not giving nope. you what it actually is, Tim. <laughs> and we're nope. coming to Justin first because Tim solved the last puzzle. Like I said, it's anyone's game still. Justin, you ready? I don't know, man. I've been ready for the last ones. There's a lot of pressure on this one. Seeing as I dropped the ball last time, I don't want to say anything wrong this time. <laughs> there, there's absolutely a lot of pressure here. Um, don't screw it up. Don't screw it up, man. <laughs> Let's screw it up. Let's get it. So I'm starting out with a FanDuel Sportsbook question. All right, Justin? According to the FanDuel Sportsbook, who is the favorite to win the AFC West? Who is the favorite to win the AFC West? Is it the Chiefs or the Chargers? Got to go Chargers. Chargers is the correct answer, but it's, yeah, it's closer so. than you might think. on, Chargers. Yeah. yeah. If the Chiefs' record wasn't as bad, I, I would have definitely said the betting that. betting odds actually are really close. It's, are kind of, it's a, a plus 160 if you're betting on the Chargers and a plus 185 if you're betting on oh, the wow. You know what? Wow. I'm glad, I'm glad because I feel like people are way too down on the Chiefs, the homes yeah. of the Chiefs. So I'm glad that Vegas is validating that. Yeah, yeah. They, they know what's up. Good they point. Knows what's up. Uh, Justin, what letter would you like? Let's go with. An N. An N. I actually, I heard that one clear. It was an Ooh. N. There's one N. There's one N in this entire puzzle. 
I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars. You can buy a Val Justin, or we. I will buy a Val. Oh, buy an A. Buying an A. There are two A's, Justin. There are two A's. I think I'm close. He, he the man thinks he's close. The man I'm thinks. Buy he's another close. Val then, since he said that. <laughs> uh, I want to buy an E. Okay, I'm not close. <laughs> it turns, it turns out. Uh, I'm gonna buy another bell. Oh, uh, I can't. So I can only buy. Yeah, I can't. We're gonna we're gonna limit. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have to go into a question here with one hundred dollars. Let's do it. Let's do All it. All right. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, Justin. Over the course of the season in a PPR league, who has more fantasy points per game? Who has more fantasy points per game in a PPR league so far this season? Is it DeAndre Hopkins or is it DK Metcalf? Mm, that's a tough one. I know, right? No, D has been playing pretty well, and he's he's had uh he's came back from that injury, but DK DK's had a couple good games too. So I'm gonna roll with DK. DK is the correct answer. He's number like eight it. in the league, and DeAndre Hopkins is down Damn, there. At 20. Justin, too wow. good with that Damn. trivia, man. Man, you know, <laughs> trying to trying to just go through the Rolodex real quick. So good. I'm calling so you Justin. if I'm ever on. Who wants to win a millionaire? <laughs> Sport, sports <laughs> edition only. Sports, yeah, fantasy edition. <laughs> um, uh, what letter would you like, Justin? Yeah, let's go with an R. I'm scared. Man, taking an R, and there's a there's two Ooh. R's. Okay. It's gonna put a thousand dollars into your bank, and now you do have money to buy vowels. I know you were interested in it. Um, last round, do you want to buy a vowel here? Uh, I do. And I want to buy an I. The man wants to buy an I. And there are three eyes. Good, good choice. There are three eyes. What? You can still buy another Val, Justin. And you know what? I, I know we're in the middle of a round here, but I want to make sure we answer this question for Jay Sandy. Oh. Mixon or Swift, rest of the season. My answer, especially in a PPR league, is absolutely Swift. Does anyone disagree? It's It's very close. It, 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 no, it's absolutely close. It's absolutely close, but I'll I'll go with Swift if I had to choose. I think I might go Mixon. Okay. I think Mixon's a safe uh, play there, and I think Swift is kind of like if you're in a PPR league and you can get the points for reception, he's going to be more hit or miss, but I can see him having a better second half than Mixon. All right. There we go. And uh, so we're in continue on the game. You can buy our vowel, uh, Justin. It will let us know when there are no more vowels, so there's at least one more vowel in there. Oh, and I will go with uh, the O. All right. He's buying the O. There are four O's. And it's not telling us that there's no more vowels. So if you wanted to buy the U, you could go ahead. Uh, I think I know the U. Um, and I don't see any. All right. We move on. This is going to be your last uh, question, by the way. Whoa. We're... All right. Let's do it. Uh, you, but you don't want to buy the U? Oh, got it. There it no, is. No, I don't want to okay. bother you. All right. I did not Justin. let it get to me. <laughs> For me to score my like, 1,000. Looks like Tim has an idea down there. Dang it. Like I got to use, the, use up these letters in case it gets back to JL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. Are you ready for your question? Let's do it. Who has more fantasy points per game so far this season? Who has scored more fantasy points per game so far this season? Is it Miles Gaskin or is it Michael Carter? Per game, I think this will surprise people, but I'm going to go with Miles Gaskin. I'm sorry. It's Michael Carter. Oh, it's Michael Carter. It's Michael wow. Carter. It is Michael really? Carter. Per uh, game? Per game. Per wow. game. Michael Carter is at 23rd while Miles Gaskin's at 30th. Dolphins are like the lowest scoring wow. offense in the, in the league. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. So, JL, we're coming to you. How you Here feeling? It is. I know two thirds of it. Okay. I, so I don't know the, the last part. So, I'm so. assuming you want a question. Right? Yeah, I'll take a question. I'm going to have to answer a question anyway if I want to beat Justin. Of course. Of course. Yes. There's some game theory there. Um, JL. Who has more fantasy points per game in a PPR league so far this season? Is it Devonta Smith or T. Higgins? Ooh. Fantasy points per game, PPR league. Uh, uh, T. Higgins. T. Higgins is correct, oh, JL. There Let's it is. go. <laughs> what letter would you like, JL? God, sweating. Um, I'll take a. I'll. I'll. I'll take a P. Oh that no. Is, Probably the choice. No. 
There are four Ps. There are four Ps here. Wow. JL. That last one. Uh, oh. Um, oh, Would God. You like another question? Uh, are there oh, I got it now. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll buy a vowel U. All right. The man's buying a U. There's one U. There's no more vowels. That's terrible. And are you. That's terrible. You want another question? That's terrible. <laughs> Um, we are going to go to yeah, another yeah, yeah. question, <laughs> JL. All right. All right. JL, who has more passing yards per game so far this season? Who has more passing yards per game so far this season? Is it Lamar Jackson or Ryan Tannehill? Ooh. Jackson. It's Tannehill. <laughs> it's Tannehill. Tannehill has 2,002 passing yards this what season. What in Lamar the F Jackson. is that? Yeah. Second to last word. <laughs> Tim, Justin. Subject you hate it. Tim. Subject you hate Justin, it. I, for one, am so happy to come in second right behind you. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> so you're just going to solve it? I would love to solve it. Cooper uh, go Cup ahead. is on a historic pace. Cooper <laughs> Cup is absolutely historic. on a historic oh, pace. You, Josh. This season, historic JL. <laughs> you cannot figure out historic. Tim, we're going to put the points over there. And he, he, Tim seemed pretty happy. He, he's going to come in second. Oh, man. JL happy in about it. You know what, Josh? Hey, that was a great, a great. He threw me off, man. I had no clue that second part. I was thinking game, something over there, but oh, not pace. Game too. Mm -hmm. Well, I, when we do these season highlights, um, you know, I, I did a couple at the beginning and it seems like they're, they're kind of similar, you know, when you, so I try to switch it up as much as I can, you know, love it. I, I, I saw Simon, he was counting the letters. He was starting to count the letters. He's figuring yeah, out, you, you, you would have probably assumed that was yeah. game. Yeah, I did. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did. So I, I, I've been trying to switch it up as much as I can, but Justin, great job. Redemption. Redem game. Oh, Let's go. Pure redemption. redemption. And we, so can't, yeah, we, we can't, can't even mention the the Robert Jones thing anymore. You've completely redeemed <laughs> yourself. We have to. Hey, that's etched in oh, stone, it, man. It is real fast. Uh, Albert got Cooper Cup is on a historic pace a few minutes, minutes ago, ago, and Simon before that, well before that, said Cooper yeah, Cup thanks, is Simon. on a. I figured that <laughs> I figured that part out. He did get it pretty early. I will give it to him. And I, I want to answer this question from Mike Webb. Um, Mike, I hope you're still here. AJ Green or Landry rest of the season? For me, it's absolutely Landry, especially in a PPR league. Uh, it, it's Yeah, it's Landry. I think it has to be. Uh, you guys, uh, J how about you, uh, Justin? Yeah, I'd rock with Landry in this one. It would be a lot closer, I think, than people think. I think uh, Peoples-Jones, Donovan Peoples-Jones might have a little bit more of a, a say in there, but I probably would go Landry uh, for safe for safety purposes only. Landry's going to get a ton of targets. Uh, Peoples-Jones might be more of that deep threat, absolutely. Um, but PPR, I'm going to go Landry here. JL, what do you think? Yeah, I'm with you, Josh. All right. And that is going to do it for us today, man. This was fun. Uh, I want to remind fun. everyone we're live streaming every weekday front yard fantasy at three o'clock Eastern time. You can find us on YouTube and Twitch under front yard fantasy. Find us on Twitter at front yard. FYF. Find me on Twitter. FYF. Josh, all, all, of our, all of our stuff here. Let's remove that so we, you can see it. And then we'll also remove uh, the game we have here. Oh, look at that. Yep. There oh, oh, there's another question. Um, but we are also live streaming on Fandles, YouTube, and Twitch channels every Friday at 6 o'clock. We're doing this, playing fun and game. And then I wanted to remind everyone that we are live streaming every Sunday doing on Fandles channels, doing a recap of the Sunday's game from a fantasy perspective. This was a lot of fun, Justin. Yeah, this hit that like and subscribe yes. if you're watching on YouTube and follow if you're on Twitch. Uh, Fanduel, they have great content creators over there. Man, I just want Absolutely. to say thank you guys for having me on, man. And, and this is such a fun show. This is, I love being a part of this. You guys are doing a hell of a job with everything Front Yard Fantasy related, man. Love the setup. Love the game. Appreciate what you guys are doing, man. No, oh, thank you Absolutely. so much for coming on again, Justin. Make sure I gotta you're come following, back, Justin. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll play a different game maybe next time. I, I feel like we, we pigeonholed you into fantasy football. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have a good time playing this. Love it. And uh, real fast, uh, Hopkins or Amari this weekend. If Hopkins is playing, I'll play Hopkins over Amari. But he's 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 dealing with that injury. It's it's really close. Um, you're probably gonna end up having Amari in your lineup if I had to guess. Yeah, yeah. I probably roll um, Amari then, in, the, in that one. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, straight up Amari. Cool. I mean, you, you, we saw what happened last week with DeAndre, where he was in and out of the game and he didn't end up having a good game. And Kyler might not play, so Amari might be the safer play there. 
Um, Zach Moss Very or Kadarius close. Tony. Uh, if, again, it's kind of dependent on if Kenny Galladay is playing for me. Um, I, I just think that Kadarius Tony gets all those targets if Kenny Galladay isn't playing. So I would go Kenny, uh, Kerry, Kadarius Tony if Kenny. Dahl- I'll go Kadarius Tony regardless. Yeah, let's go. That's what let's I wanted go. to hear. <laughs> let's go. I might you, go Zach Moss. I, I think I'd go Zach Moss this week. Safer. Yeah. Safer for sure. Justin, yeah, do you, yeah, you have any disagree? Yeah. All right. That's going to be it. <laughs> that's going to be it for us today, guys. Thank you again, Justin. Let's get out of here. And hey, I want to remind everyone real fast. Um, Trading makes fantasy fun. You stole it from me, Jail. Yeah, I, like I did. Trading <laughs> makes fantasy fun. Bye. <laughs>